Greetings everyone, here comes another cast to upload on YouTube and um, I think I'm gonna have a lot of work to do on Monday so probably we'll be having to skip and not gonna do any cast on Monday, only on Tuesday the next one so um, I'm gonna get this one up and running I picked up this replay file because, uh, well, it's from this week's L Craft Cup and it involves a player I've been taking a look at but very briefly the last couple of weeks and he's been popping on the tournament scene in Europe trying his luck and insisting on improving his skill level and I was hoping to see a replay with him facing against one of the top references in Europe and well this is the case so I just grabbed the replay and gonna take a look at it you're gonna have a matchup here between the Red Terran show as you guys know he's a Swedish player now a member of Team Dignitas and um, he played Warcraft 3 before, he transitioned into Starcraft 2 and he's quite a solid Terran. He's fairly well known, he's been around on the community and on the tournament scene in Europe for a while. And he's been considering moving to Korea, he made an apply to the house, to the foreigner house in GOM TV. Um, I think he was approved, but he is considering his options. The last interview I read from him, he was commenting the fact that um, he's considering his options, there's a lot of stuff going on in his private life, and he might not be able to just go instantly there, he might just have to postpone it for later on. Uh, still, he's a big reference in Europe, quite a solid Terran player, and he's going to be facing against this Blue Zerg that I want to see some matches of him against some top references in Europe. His name is Ukraine Star. He's a fairly young guy and he's just popping on the tournament scene. I already see him playing on several weekly online tournaments and apparently he's doing fairly well. So I would like to see him facing against one of the references, a guy that is fairly well recognized, to see how well will he be able to handle the pressure and if we actually have here a star on the rise which might be the case you never know um, as you guys know Ukraine has been providing us with lots of very strong players I mean from the top of my head Demaga, Straylock, Whitera and now eventually probably Ukraine star would be pretty cool so um, following this match and taking a look at what's going on here as you can see, you just have this drone roaming around and the gas still going on. Ukraine, Ukraine star just trying to delay any build or even cancelling, aborting any plans for Show to go for any heavy gas build by taking that gas from him while Show is just going racks into factory and finishing up his wall off. This gas still is going to take a while as you might imagine and especially if he's going to try to repeat it. Yeah, here he goes. I think he's going to try again. So this is just going to delay any plans from Show to commit himself to any kind of gas heavy build and obviously show if he was even planning that he's gonna have to transition into something else. Uh, we're talking about the fairly experienced player so I know he has a plan A, B and C and um, ways of transitioning into other builds if he actually was planning in, into any kind of gas heavy but uh, for now everything apparent, apparently is fine Ukraine star just went for the fast hatch on his natural expo already has some workers here so he's going to be working out of two bases soon enough getting zergling speed and pumping some zerglings out while on show side he cleared that gas still didn't went for it so I guess he wasn't even planning on getting any kind of gas heavy build uh, uh, early on on the game maybe later on he'll just grab it but for now as you can see he went racks into factory into a second racks and attaching the tech lab there so getting infernal pre-igniter and the first hellion coming out so I guess we're gonna have plenty of hellion harass incoming from show and uh, based on the build that I can see from Ukraine star and on the fact that he only has zerglings he had to commit most of his minerals to this hatcher and he's now he's trying to balance his economy there's still no roach warren nothing else besides zerglings this might be uh, troublesome this might spell trouble for ukraine star as you guys know hellions especially with infernal pre-igniter are going to be really nasty against zerglings and drones and the first one is already heading into uh, Ukraine Star's bases. He has some uh, points here to check, just make sure that Ukraine Star isn't preparing any surprises, just roaming around checking everything. There's already a second one incoming and the Infernal Pre-Igniter is still a bit far away from getting built, so he's not gonna wait for it, I would say. He's just entering the creep, incoming the Queen, the queen spotted it, he has to pull back. The second one is getting ready to um, to make a duo and probably try to approach this mineral line and meanwhile at the same time show sending more Hellions and a small group of Marines advancing into the bases from Ukraine Star. Ukraine Star is trying to uh, send his Zerglings to 
poke around, take a look at what show is planning on. That one got completely roasted the second he arrived on that Zalaga Watchtower. And meanwhile, the forces from show are mustering up and gathering into the entrance of this natural expo, with Ukraine Star answering back just perfectly, getting some spine crawlers. They're almost built, so he's going to have some proper defense here. There's a problem that I might see here. On this corner, the spine crawlers won't be able to reach this place, so the placement of the spine crawlers might not be the best and force him to do something else later on. Incoming all of the forces from show, roasting two drones, those Hellions leading the charge, backed up by some uh, uh, Marines and the Marauder. Oh, this is trying to get a nice surround there. They're all cornered there, but uh, with those uh, um, blue flame Hellions roasting everything that moves and the fact that uh, Ukraine Star's army, it's basically Zerlings and some Queens, are just forcing him to keep on hold wait a bit longer and try to find a proper positioning. Notice how he was forced to place these two spine crawlers here. This one now will allow him to poke at everything and apparently he's gonna prepare a pincer attack, just locking all the units from show on that corner. Nice move incoming from the north, the other wave of zerglings and all of them cornered and getting bashed by the queen, the spine crawler and all the zerglings finishing off this assault. Good move here, nice defense by Ukraine star and show meanwhile benefited from the fact that he doesn't have any pressure on his base, he's just establishing his game just fine and as you can see preparing himself for a, an expansion, getting the command center almost finished and flying it to the natural expo I would say. Switch incoming here on the main base, he's gonna attach it to the reactor. Will we be getting more and more Hellions because apparently he's quite committed to the Hellion play and well the Arras actually had some um, paid some dividends, he was able to kill a lot of units here, mostly Zerglings, he didn't kill that much on the mineral line, but still he did some damage, and now he's gonna try to uh, apply the pressure on Ukraine Star, keep him on his toes, so Ukraine Star won't be able to uh, assault him and uh, just try to break this uh, offensive approach that Cho has been uh, committing himself to on the early game. More Hellions coming out as you can see, there's a lot of upgrades ongoing here on the production tab, and um, on Ukraine star side, he's picking up all the gas because he's making kind of an interesting transition. No Roach Warren whatsoever. He went for a Spire and already has a small wing of Mutalisks flying around. So I think he's flanking yeah, all the way south on the main base and gonna enter straight into the mineral line, kill as much as if he's as possible and get out of there. He's focusing his fire on that mule and oh, there he goes, mule down. Finally, the forces from show appearing here to... Uh, help out defending here on the um, on the mineral line from the main base he instantly jumps into the mineral line of the natural expo and keeps killing more and more SCV so a lot of damage being done here on the mineral lines let's take a look at the income notice the difference on the harvester count just huge difference and uh, this mutilist only uh, did even more damage now finally some missile turrets appearing popping there and uh, probably this harass will be finished or at least until ukraine star gets a really massive wing 44 against 24 harvesters this early on the match it's not a good sign show is falling behind by a lot notice the income and now show gonna try to make a payback just uh, uh, enter with a lot of aliens on that base and all of them with the infernal pre-igniter this is going to be the biggest barbecue ever here they come roasting everything that moves let's see how many they kill oh several of those drones getting completely roasted oh massive damage on the mineral line and ukraine star now is going to have his number of workers even out with show pulling a lot of queens all of his forces to finish off this assault trying to kill as many of those aliens as possible and finally the offensive offenses i'm sorry offensive is over but uh, notice that he was able to even out the number of of workers and Ukraine star instantly popping 12 more workers whoa this was a nice move very well calculated by Ukraine star and is way ahead once again instantly replenishing his mineral lines and like this is going to keep balancing the econ game and pull ahead of the Terran player keep in mind that currently we're two bases versus two and meaning that the Terran player by using the mules and if he's able to even out the harvester count a little bit more he's gonna be able to keep leading the way on the econ game and uh, keep in mind that 2v2 versus a Terran it's kind of complicated because of the mules so he needs to consider his options and maybe risk expanding not sure what's Ukraine star plan currently but I'm pretty sure he's considering that notice that show has been leaving these three Hellions here on what's supposed to be the third base from 
from uh, Ukraine star and I think yeah he's gonna attempt to establish his third base and keep progressing on the macro game but with these three hellions oh there it is instant roast and now finally some defenses showing up finishing off or not really or those blue flame hellions just roasted all of those zerglings is gonna need a stronger unit composition incoming finally more zerglings backed up by some mutilists and killed off all the forces but notice the the how fast Ukraine star is answering back to uh, um, these counters from the show, all those Hellions that were established there on what's supposed to be his third base, denying the base from him, so he just decided, okay, I'm gonna go for the fourth one, or what was supposed to be the fourth one, now it's his third, it's already getting up the hatchery, and he's now picking up the third at the same time, so quite a big commitment here to the macro game obviously this might leave him a bit fragile on the next couple of minutes he just committed a lot of resources to get those two hatcheries up at the same time but i think he's trusting the fact that um show is not planning any kind of offensive or at least he thinks so and now incoming several hellions from show trying to harass those mineral lines once more show keeps tr keeps attempting to contain and control the advance the progress of the econ game from ukraine star and it's perfectly understandable you guys saw on the early game how far ahead Ukraine Star was already and now with the Banelings nest there this is kind of an interesting unit composition he completely skipped the Roach Warren no Roaches whatsoever he went from that spawning pool to get some Zerglings in straight into a Spire and now going for the Banelings and we might be seeing Roaches later on I guess some mid game late game Roaches and probably just planning a transition to surprise his opponent might be an option there's a big mutilisk wing flying around for quite a while let's take a look at the econ game show leading the way not by much harvester count is way behind but obviously the mules on these two bases are helping him balancing and evening out the this economy game incoming all the mutilists oh they're gonna force a cancel here i would say incoming the forces from show trying to defend oh so close and he got it cancelled he just saved it last second save there clearly but there's a huge mutilist wing flying around and this obviously isn't good because ukraine star is going to be able to harass so so much um show for now getting a lot of upgrades Terran Vehicles level 2, he's been committing himself to a lot of Hellion play as you guys seen and we might be seeing him transitioning to something else later on. Let's take a look. Two racks, how many racks? Three racks, two factories, starport and there's the armory already. So maybe some Thor play, there it is the first Thors popping out. Some Thor play would make sense, especially facing such a big mutilist wing. Those blasts from the um, from the Thors will be able to just spread a lot of damage through this wing and uh, just try to finish it off so Ukraine star uh, stops with the harass once again he's incoming here on the south side of the main base straight into that mineral line trying to kill as many units as possible actually destroying that assimilator and there he is over it's not an assimilator a refinery I'm sorry but yeah just trying to finish off the gas production on the main base the Thors finally coming up and blasting away at those uh, um, those mutilists but didn't pay it off actually the um, Ukraine star was able to stop the gas uh, production here on the main base so nice snipe there by Ukraine star and meanwhile on his bases he already has the four bases playing this one is almost exhausted the other three are still working just fine so this obviously is gonna show on his economy look at him just pushing away as he once again harasses this this uh, gas here the refinery sniping once again another refinery so nice play by ukraine star just delaying as much as possible the plans from show keeping tabs on him containing his advance and forcing him to go bio or at least go as much bio heavy as possible and stopping his mech production from actually going a step forward and reinforce his army enough for him to make a push notice how Ukraine star is trying to contain the movements from a show by killing off or at least delaying the build of the the, um, the unit composition that show is planning so uh, taking off that gas for a little bit longer probably bought at least a couple of minutes more for Ukraine star to reinforce his army and meanwhile show just went for his third base straight into the rich mineral field so we have 
three bases, a lot of mutualists once again. Are they going to try to snipe once more? No, there's a Thor waiting for them. So no chance there. Mutualists forced to pull back once again, but still Ukraine star moving them around, flying and trying to harass as much as possible. And apparently going to have a big clash ensuing here, close to the to the statue. Incoming all the bailings. Oh, melting away so many of those bio units. Still smashing against those uh, uh, marauders as well. And now the Roach is trying to finish off what's left of this show's army. Backed up by the Mutalists. There's only Thors left. The Roach is finishing off what's left of the Thors. And Cho being forced to pick up one of the Thors. The Thors nice micro there. Saving the last one. But this battle was straight win for the uh, Ukraine star. And now apparently is pushing ahead into this rich mineral field. Oh, but he's in for the surprise. So many Thors there. Instantly has to run away. There's not enough here, not even close. It's only a small group of roaches. But notice how he only he applied the roaches and built the roach warren much later in the game. And now he's getting a lot of upgrades. Melee attack, ground carapace level 2, getting a lot of upgrades here. What's left of his mutalisk wing is getting finished off by now. And meanwhile, let's take a look at the bases from him. The infestation pit to allow him to go all the way up into the hive tech. There it is. So he might be planning something else to reinforce his army. For now, as you can see, let's take a look at the unit composition. 26 roaches so he made a fairly strong a hard change into roaches mid late game something that i'm not sure if show was planning notice that show committing himself to a lot of thor play to counter those mutalisks and when ukraine star noticed that there was a lot of mech running around and a lot of thors he went for those roaches uh, tried to transition and now he doesn't have a much of a mutalisk wing anymore show keep stretching now his macro game trying to reinforce his econ game and being able to re refresh his army as fast as a Zerg player or at least as fast as possible because it's kind of hard to compare to what a five blaze a five base third not easy and incoming another big assault this time on the rich mineral field there's a planetary fortress blasting all the roaches but the roaches just crossing the path all the way from right to the left side of the rich mineral field killing as much as possible actually ignoring the planetary fortress now focusing the fire trying to get it killed but there's SCVs repairing it and passing all the way into the left side and leaving a, a trail of destruction on this rich mineral field. So going straight now to that uh, natural expo, yes, apparently they will. So moving on now into the natural expo, expecting Show to not have that much of a defense here, and he doesn't, but Ukraine star deciding to pull back. So there's not much of a defense for Show now. Let's take a look at the armies, 139 against 75, as you guys can see. Units lost, look at the difference there, as you can as you can see, Ukraine Star has been getting a lot of damage on his units, but I mean, probably there has like a million Zerglings on that count as well. But still, there's a, a kind of a, a big advantage now in favor of Ukraine Star, and because he's playing out of these five bases, he can just reinforce with so many hatcheries, he can just replenish his army so fast, lots of banelings getting built once more and incoming more upgrades chitin is plating this time so i guess we're going to see ultralisks soon enough these two evo, evo chambers have been really really busy pumping as many upgrades as possible and ukraine star even leaving some of his units just on this little corner not sure if he's trying to attempt any kind of surprise move later on but well he's gonna get spotted there it is all of the road just getting blasted away by this uh, Marauders. Marauders 1-1 one, one on the upgrades already. Let's see this mech units. Two on the assault as you can see on the cannon of those siege tanks. And finally pulling this what's left of this roaches, only four roaches, to this little corner. I think they're gonna get killed. Yeah, the forces from show are just advancing. But meanwhile, Ukraine star has been reinforcing his army, trying to get as close to maxed out as possible. Look at the gap, it's a fairly big gap, and this doesn't look any good for show at the moment. Finally, Ukraine star deciding to go for the rich mineral field as well, so he can balance the income here and keep his game close to his opponent, to the Terran player. Notice that it's very close on the econ game. Uh, Harvester count, uh, Ukraine star has a lot more, no questions asked about that, but um, I don't see I I'm trying to wonder what Ukraine star is waiting for based on the uh, the army count because as long as he take this game the more he, he, he delays the advance the push is just allowing show to get closer and closer to being completely maxed out and that as you might imagine can't be good here he comes big move with some ultralisks leading the charge backed up by zerglings 
incoming all of them where are they going they're going straight to what was the fourth base from show a scan going on right on the nick of time spotting all of those units moving there's a planetary fortress here nice surround with the zerglings and now incoming all the banelings will he be using the banelings to blast away the planetary fortress doesn't seem like he's just trying to get a nice surround killing all the SCVs and destroyed planetary fortress bye bye fourth base for show and now where is he heading i think he's gonna th go straight to that rich mineral field yes he is incoming the banelings he saved all of them he didn't use the single one to destroy that planetary fortress and now blasting them all on the faces of those marauders marauders are actually fairly resistance against resistant against those, ba those banelings at least compared with marines of course marines are just the main target the priority target for um for banelings as you might imagine but still ukraine star going just fine and now finally the economy from show getting really shot because his main base is totally exhausted this one is getting close to exhausted and is basically working out of two bases this one with no workers whatsoever show stretching now to a fifth base he knows that he needs to keep his economy running leaving his opponent a uh, one two three four five a six base zerg uh, macro up with that economy with that gap on the economy is basically suicidal so he needs to try to attempt something notice that i didn't saw any drop occurring during the game which i find interesting maybe show should consider some snipes during the the mid game but i guess that wasn't the plan and incoming a lot of ultralists advancing into all of these units from show destroying everything that moves whoa a lot of banelings getting saved none of them getting destroyed but now climbing up the ramp and getting several of them blasted into the forces of show putting up what's left of the resistance down and once again he's just right in front of that planetary fortress a final de desperate attempt from show to save it with the repair from the scvs but no chance instant explosion destroyed by this massive ultralist five three ultralists and now he's just spreading his ultralists all around the place destroying as much as possible killing all the units left from showing this rich mineral field and the econ game is just completely dominated now for ukraine star he killed all the production uh, bases from show except for this one keep in mind that this one is just up and doesn't even have any workers running on the mineral line so show basically working out of a single base and incoming a big wave of zerglings into the natural expo backed up but this time by those ultralists and the infestors on the back trying to fungal growth some of those units forcing show to gg out of this match so show just went for <laughs> <laughs> and game over so pretty impressive move here by ukraine star a big strong macro play we did have some downtime in the mid game a little bit where both players were just taking care of their sim city but still massive uh, 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 ca capability massive ability by ukraine star to just advance with this big army and replenish it you had huge streams of zerglings on the final bit to back up those ultralisks and finish off what's left of show's base so well show didn't have what he take on this situation he lost this game and ukraine star just show us that he might have what it takes to be someone on the league on the starcraft 2 events the tournament scene and being another ukrainian top uh, starcraft 2 player well i can only say that ukraine is starting to look like a huge superstar factory for us which is good obviously they're more than welcome okay well hope you guys enjoy this match see you all later have fun